Hello Taurus, I'm here to give you insight and guidance and I just ask that spirit of love and light meet you where you're at in this current space and time. So this is going to be a general reading for the month of March. It's not going to apply to all Taurus, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so let's get started. We're just going to take a look and see what energies are surrounding you in the month of March. Okay, Taurus, I saw someone trying to pull you by your nose ring. <laughs> Hopefully this is not being physically done, but, um, you know, of course, bulls, they have uh, the little nose rings that, you know, um, that humans put on them. It's not something natural, but I, I feel like somebody's pulling you by your nose ring. Somebody's trying to control you. Someone's trying to maybe even get your attention. Okay. Um, this could even express some type of pain um, that you're experiencing, okay? Some type of pain uh, surrounding maybe the journey that you're on, um, surrounding your purpose, okay? A little bit uncomfortable. Some of you could have piercings. <laughs> A lot of people have piercings nowadays. So let's see, what are the energies surrounding your cars in the month of March? Okay, we have Four of Cups. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you could have this in your chart. Two of Wands. This was also in the Aries reading. So you could be dealing with an Aries, another Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Sun. Leo energy. And then we have Six of Cups. Okay water energy here cancer pisces scorpio definitely scorpio and of course taurus your opposite sign is scorpio okay i also see virgo energy here as well so in the month of march i see that um some of you are going to be you know connecting with those that you care about those you love, I'm hearing doing the dance again, okay? Some of you could be doing the dance again in regards to a relationship. Um, and when I mean by the dance, it's like, it's like, here we go again. It's like an energy of that, okay? You're doing the tango with this person. You're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this person for some of you, okay? Uh, this could even be just going back and forth with um, an ex, okay? Um... I'm seeing that some of you could be daydreaming as well. You could be reminiscing about the love you had with someone, about the harmony that you've had with someone, okay? Uh, someone could have could have left you, Taurus, okay? Or you could have left someone else. And um, I felt like this needed to happen, okay? It's the situation that has uh, taken place needed to happen. Okay, because there was an energy of being stagnant, okay? You could have been stagnant or stuck in your emotion or the person that you were dealing with was stagnant or stuck in their emotions here. I don't know why I'm hearing Capricorn. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart, okay? Um, but things weren't really moving. It was the same old, same old, okay? So somebody decided to, I'm hearing fend for themselves. They decided to do what was best for them. And that could have just been leaving, okay? Or making a, a tough decision, okay? Um, some, some of you could have, this could have been you that had made this tough decision, this decision to move forward. You could have had help from others. I'm seeing that as well, okay? But this needed to happen because things were really stuck. It's like you guys were doing the same old dance. And if it's not a relationship, this could have been family, this could have been friends, colleagues. It's like you got tired of the same old, same old. So, or, or doing the same dance with the, this person, okay? Or this person got tired of doing the same dance with you. But moving on. Uh, we have the sun here. So this is um, happiness. This is joy. This is um, a, like a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? 
I'm hearing Eureka, like an aha moment, a realization, okay? So I, I feel like some of you Taurus uh, could have had this realization, okay, in regards to the situation. You, you know, it could have been very burdensome for you, very uncomfortable, but now you're seeing the truth about the situation. You're seeing the truth about yourself as well. I also see that um, because you guys made this decision or made this change uh, to leave a situation that wasn't serving you, that this, you know, leaving a situation where you were constantly going going through a cycle since you've left that situation this you're experiencing success okay you're experiencing joy you're experiencing uh, abundance okay all right i also see this sun as a, a person tars uh this could definitely be a leo uh, it could be any sign really but this is the sun of your life this is somebody that um really meant a lot a lot to you or you could have meant uh really meant a lot to this person okay this is like an energy of like this you, like you're my light okay you're the light of my life that's what i'm hearing okay so there's an energy of someone being the sun for you this person gives you warmth okay or you could have been this person who gave this uh you could have been the person who gave the other person warmth and you know vitality here okay um, I'm seeing a person here, you guys probably can't see right here, but they're sitting next to a riverbank by themselves, okay, so like isolation, some of you could be going through like an isolation period, okay, uh, or coming out of an isolation period, if you are currently in an isolation period or just feeling down, this is a call for you to see the light, um, easier said than done, but you have to make a decision to get out of this vibration, okay. You have to make a decision too, but this is a call for you to see the light, okay, within yourself or the light in your situation. Six of Cups here. This is somebody looking, looking in the uh, through the window. Atarja, maybe you put somebody out. <laughs> it's cold out there, okay. You put somebody out. They're just looking through the window. This could just even be you feeling left out, okay. You feeling left out, left out by a friendship, by a relationship. Uh, maybe you're feeling left out at work. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but there's an energy of you feeling left out, okay? Feeling left out or the person that you're dealing with, okay, could be feeling left out. Um, I'm hearing yearning for your love. What is, who sings that song? Yearning for your love. I can't, I don't know if it was the Gap Band. It might have been, I can't remember, but I'm, I was hearing yearning for your love. So you could be yearning for the love of this person. Um, they warm your heart, okay? You're on the outside looking in. Somebody, somebody could have closed you out, Taurus, as well, or you could have closed somebody out. But this person is really looking for, like, warmth, okay? They want, they, they, they're looking for this, um this feeling of rebirth and renewal with you or you're just you're feeling this for another person okay if it doesn't have anything to do with the person it's just you're desiring to have success in your life you're desiring uh, like belonging you're desiring this renewal okay um but you're like on the outside looking in some of you um taurus uh, need to not worry so much about fitting in but that's for some of you okay you need to not worry so much about fitting in, okay? Um, you can be successful on your own. If there's people that you're around that's making you feel isolated, making you feel some type of way, just do you. Just keep it moving. <laughs> and, you know, it looks like she's keeping it moving. Yep, I can't even talk. It looks like she's keeping it moving. You know, she may be reminiscing a little bit, you know, thinking about the past and thinking about what if, but she's going to keep it moving. So this is a call for you to keep it moving, okay? Alright, let's see here. Let me see what this Four of Cups is. Four of Cups. Now, some of you Taurus could have been dealing with like a mother figure as well. Maybe some issues surrounding a mother figure. Biological or um, just a mother figure. Four of Cups. What is a Four of Cups? Okay, six of wands, so victory. Okay, so for some of you, I see that you will have a victory with someone, okay? You could have been doing the same old dance, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this person, and it could have been 
some are uncomfortable you know maybe you guys have stepped on each other's toes you know a few times but I see here that you guys are going to be able to overcome that that energy you're going to overcome uh you know stepping over stepping on each other's toes and just being in that low vibration you're going to overcome this with the six of wands here you know before the six of wands there are five of wands so you guys could have been fighting a lot maybe have some disagreements maybe you could have um felt at conflict with yourself you know either way i do see you overcoming this okay and you being able to move on with this partner okay if some of you that's not the case it's like um you're gonna have victory by moving on from this person so take what resonates and leave what doesn't so i see it i see it both ways here okay there was a strong energy of someone moving on okay i see that um no. Let's just try to see two numbers. Two number six is here. Definitely could be dealing with the Virgo. Pisces energy as well. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Okay. Okay, what else does Tara see to know? Um, I don't see any as far as money, I keep hearing money. Three of Wands here. So Three of Wands together again. So some of you, I'm hearing together, and some of you are designed to be back in a union, to be back in a relationship with someone, but there's a lot of stress. You could have uh, a child with this person, Taurus, I see here. Okay. Um, I'm hearing regret. Some of you could have a lot of regrets surrounding this relationship, surrounding this person. Um, there's a lot of stress here, you know, some of you could, your baby mama or your, or your baby father could be stressing you out if that's not the case, okay? I do see this as um, uh, an opportunity to um, not just move forward, but to achieve something, okay? Because this Three of Wands energy, this is Sun and Aries energy, so this is like being determined to create, being determined to um you know, to uh, cultivate some type of abundance uh, into your life. And not just abundance, it's just doing what you want. It's like you're going after what you want, okay? You're not allowing the stress of the world or your internal conflicts to get the best of you. This is what I'm seeing here. For those of you who have been letting this get to you, your internal conflict or conflict with others, it's time for you to take the higher road and do what's best for yourself, okay? You are you are the creator of your experience, okay? It's all about your the role that you play in your life. Okay. All right, page of wands. So, Taurus, don't be afraid to ask for advice from others. Maybe uh, advice from those who are experienced, those who have uh, been in your shoes. Someone that is um, reliable. Someone that knows what the hell that they're talking about, okay? I do see that some of you Taurus are um, always trying to be the teacher instead of the student, okay? And what this means is that there is a need for you to uh, learn a little bit more from your situation, okay? Any type of mistakes that you have made. Right now, I have four of wands here. So this is all about stability, okay? And I see children here. So there is a strong emphasis on children okay this could have something to do with a relationship you have with someone you have a child by them okay there's children here i'm seeing here okay but there's a need for you to be a little bit more attentive uh, when it comes to your relationship with your children when it comes to your relationship with your partner if you're really wanting to be in a relationship if you're really wanting this four of wands energy this stability in your life you have to be willing to learn okay from from your mistakes learn from others Okay, this is what I'm seeing here. Um, and it doesn't have to just be a relationship. It can, just, it can be in regards to work, but there's a need for you to uh, be more attentive because I see that some of you are really wanting to create this Four of Wands energy. Okay, I also see here there's someone who has a child, okay, um, or, or kids, um, but the person you're with, Taurus, they... They look kind of stressed out because of this, okay? And they could be stressed out maybe because you have children or they're stressed out because um, you're maybe giving your children too much attention. Like you're, you know what I mean? And they're wanting a family with you. I do see that there's someone who wants a family with you, but you're like giving too much attention to your kids or elsewhere, 
okay this child that you could be nurturing doesn't have to be an actual child it could be a goal something that you're investing in something that you're nurturing okay uh, this could be a vision that you have you're just so fixated on that okay tires or this could be flipped okay maybe you stressed out because this person is nurturing um, you know their goals and their dreams and they're just kind of focused on that and not really this connection okay they could be too caught up with their kids you know that's for some of you not all of you okay but we're willing to learn and um, expand your mind Okay, if you're wanting this uh, Four of Wands energy, if you're wanting to have stability in your life, happiness, even even a good relationship, some of you are willing to learn from your uh, past relationships and be willing to grow from it because I do see that some someone is responding in a childish way when it comes to a relationship. Okay, they're not really, they're just a child. They're a kid, okay? And somebody's trying to put you up on game or you're trying to put someone up on game, but they're not really listening. That's for some of you, not all of you, okay? But there's uh, new opportunities through learning, new opportunity uh, through hearing others out, getting like a second opinion on hearing as well, or an opinion of from someone, okay? Hearing their opinion or what their perspective is. Okay, uh, message for Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. Pick the second card. The second house belongs to you, Tars. The second house of finances and possessions and values. We have nature. Wow, nature. So, Taurus, maybe you're out in nature. Maybe you're needing to get, <laughs> get out into nature. Okay. Looking at the sun card here. That's probably why I was picking up on some isolation. Maybe some of you are needing to isolate, needing to get out in nature, needing to be one with nature. Okay. Um, I'm hearing fake the funk. So Taurus is really important for you in the month of March. Not just the month of March, but every day. Not to fake the funk. Okay. Uh, some of you could feel so deeply. Okay. And uh, you may mask this energy. Okay. You may mask it and it, it makes you look somewhat just fake for the people who know who you are like they know exactly who you are but you're it's like there's an energy of you like really masking it and suppressing who you are and so it's a call for you to no longer do that be your true authentic self okay that's for some of you um i'm also hearing that there is a need or there's a desire for you to have authentic um, and real relationships or connections with others. Like you're really desiring that. Like a natural relationship, non-GMO <laughs> relationship, genetically modified. Okay, you don't want to deal with any more bots. Okay, you just want real people around you. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, also, I'm hearing plant-based. Okay, some of you could be looking into going into plant-based or are plant-based but for those of you who are not plant-based I'm not saying you have to but there's a need for you to be uh, more mindful in regards to what you're putting into your body okay there's a strong emphasis on your solar plexus okay so be really uh, mindful to what you're putting in your body try eating more plant-based or fruits things that are natural okay Eat more natural things. It's really important for you, Taurus, okay? Because um, something could be going on with your digestion, all right? You need to be uh, more mindful. You eat more natural things, okay? If you like meat, that's on you, but maybe try getting some veggies or fruit into your diet. That could really help as well, okay? And be you. Do what's going to make you feel good. Okay, do what's going to um, um, do what's going to help you be you. Okay, and that could just be taking up a new hobby, that could just be getting out into nature, like decompressing, grounding. You know, when we're able to ground ourselves, when we're able to um, be in our element, we can function in the matrix a little bit better. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay, so second card, second card for Taurus. Wow, healthy lifestyle. Okay, we're just talking about that. 
healthy lifestyle. Okay, so we have Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is the angel of health. Um, they also say love as well, but mostly health. So it says, eat a healthy full diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. So just like what I was talking about with this card, okay, nature. Okay, some of you could be eating very bad, okay, and that can change your whole pH, that can change your, the energy of your, just of, of your aura, it just, it changes everything, right? So it's really important to watch out with, watch out for what you're putting into your body, okay? This could be drinking, this could be drugs, this could just be bad foods, okay? Just be really mindful of that, and if it's not just foods, if you're, if you're good on that, this is like toxic people, toxic ways of thinking, toxic jobs, anything that is not healthy, okay, outside of yourself. It's time for you to remove yourself from that energy, okay, and have a, have more healthy relationships, more natural relationships, non-GMO relationships or connections with others, okay? So I hope this helped you, Taurus. Um, if you're interested in reading with me, go ahead and send me a message through my website. And I, um, oh, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month. God bless.